KP classes dedicated to excellence. Hello everyone. Today we have Mr. Arpit Singh with us. He has cleared CPWD Deputy Architect uh, for the post of Deputy Architect with CPWD through the requirement which was conducted by the Union Public Service Commission for the Central Architect Service. Firstly, I would like to begin by congratulating you, Arpit, on this wonderful success. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. Right. And we would like to, in the short interaction, we would like to know about your journey and also your preparation strategy uh, because a lot of future aspirants are interested to know. Uh, so firstly, I would like to ask about your preparation. How difficult was it? How much time on an average did you spend? Uh, what was your approach in the overall preparation for the exam particularly? So honestly, cracking a UPSC examination is challenging and a deputy architect's exam is no different. And I had uh, seen the previous year's papers also. So I was aware about the difficulty level. So I had started my preparation almost around six months back only along with my job. And uh, I started from uh, half an hour. It ranged from half an hour to three hours along with my job. It was a gradual buildup of knowledge. Uh, and I was trying to be consistent in that because at the end of the first month, I realized that I have covered a good portion. And that kind of motivated me to continue like this. And uh, towards the end, I increased the number of hours and uh, increased the intensity of the study also. And that really helped me. Okay. Uh, so as far as notes is considered, did you maintain a common running notes for all the subjects or was it, was it just a uh, few papers of notes? What, how did you maintain what you studied and how did you revise what you studied? Sir, so I did maintain uh, running notes uh, as, along with the classes that I had, live classes, and also along uh, of the self study that I did. I prepared a cell, uh, a, a different uh, copy of that, and after preparing those notes, those detailed notes, I prepared a summary of those notes as well. That helped me to revise. I did not have to open every time the lengthy ones, so that kind of saved my time because I I was. Uh, running short on time every day because I I was in project management uh, field so it kind of took a lot of time and uh, that really helped me I because notes are very important uh, without notes uh, we are nowhere like we will forget uh, after a few days or few weeks and uh, we'll have to re-study that and to avoid that I prepared detailed notes and then a summary of those notes as well a, a short summary. Sure, that's a very good strategy and also I'm sure that will be useful tip for future students who are preparing for exams. Uh, and also, Arvind, can you tell us about your interview experience? How long did it go? Was it all focused on inter on the portfolio only or it was a combination of portfolio and general questions? Uh, what was the overall experience of interview round? So the interview was... Uh was very balanced uh, because it was a very professional interaction. It was a mix of both uh, since I had taken a portfolio. So they asked from the portfolio as well and uh, what the uh, whatever the projects I had done in that about the details of the project that I was dealing with in my work. And also they kind of uh, inquired about different uh, topics relating to project management since my background is project management. So, and also uh, they asked some thought provoking questions uh, in uh, relating to concepts of architecture and also building standards and regulations as well. They tried to assess my knowledge, my practical knowledge as well, in terms of uh, uh, the execution of the MEP services at site. And uh, uh, there was a brief discussion uh, about sustainability and the importance of that and along with earthquake resistant construction methods. Okay, so it was a combination of portfolio and also general questions. Uh, right, sir. Answer. Right, sir. Okay. And uh, if you can guide future aspirants, what do you think are the most important things? Because uh, there's a new requirement also which is in process at this point of time for uh, deputy architect in military engineering services. The selection process is expected to be mostly similar. 
so what do you think is your advice for future aspirants for such competitive exams by upsc or in general government jobs in architecture so first firstly the most important thing is uh, you have to have a good motivation a fuel for motivation you need to understand that you need to identify that particular thing because without uh, motivation this is a long game uh, preparing for a uh, examination like upsc or any other government exam if you say uh, it requires a lot of motivation because uh, without being consistent and motivated you won't be able to uh, run in the this long game so first of all that is required and then uh focusing on the concepts and the basics first you need to uh, uh, solidify those basics and then uh, play around those basics and concepts and solve as many questions as possible uh, available over the internet different books different test series i did that and that really helped me to uh, strengthen different concepts and uh, giving attention to your practical field if you are working uh, for a firm outside or in office maybe so giving attention to that that really helps that gives an upper hand i i really feel that that gives an upper hand in the interview and uh, uh, we shouldn't ignore the trending topics in architecture like sustainability earthquake resistant structures uh, which i uh, which i read right before my uh, interview so uh, that really helped me and uh, finally i would say that being very confident and concise and being very specific to the questions that they are asking being very specific to the answers that we are giving because uh, uh, if we run around the bush if we are not aware of any topic and we if we run around the bush then they will surely understand that and that will be a negative point for us so in uh, we we can in that case we can admit that uh, yes we are not aware of that particular topic and we will read about it but um, confidence and uh, being confident in the right way is very important all right that, that is a very valuable advice i have two particular questions for you from your experience more one is uh, on the portfolio because you have your masters in building engineering management you have a pro- project management background you have, your work experience is also in that domain so your portfolio which you took for the interview was it an architectural portfolio of academic work with some professional work or did you have something other than the architectural drawings maybe project scheduling or technical drawings what was your portfolios overall layout briefly so my portfolio uh, contained three projects i had uh, identified three projects two of them were my academics uh, one of them was my from my work only and that particular project uh, that i took from my work Uh, it contained different aspects of the uh, uh, the documentation the uh, specifically my role in that particular execution of that project so it contained the uh, documentation that i had done what all is required from scratch till the delivery of the project along with the uh, dlp period and all so i had compiled that thing and uh, uh, the panel majorly discussed on that last project only not my academic ones Okay, that's interesting to know. So it was not necessarily only architectural drawings. Yes, sir. Okay, that's wonderful. A very important uh, information for future aspirants too. For future one last, aspirants. One, sir. one last question. Uh, so a lot of students do ask me at my personal level too. Should we leave a job and start preparing for this exam? So what will your advice be to such candidates? Should people focus hundred percent on preparation? or is it manageable with your job like is it manageable by doing job or which is better you think uh sir that totally depends um, uh as i said earlier on the fuel for your motivation my fuel for uh, my fuel for this particular motivation was to get into government service uh, rather than rather than being in corporate for the whole for the whole of my life so that fueled me and uh, if uh, first of all don't leave your job start uh, your preparation and assess your uh, performance and assess your what wh- what you if you're liking it or not whether you will be because you know from inside that uh, whether you will be able to continue with this particular thing in which you need to intensify more as the exam approaches and if you are ready for that then you can surely 
leave your job and go for 100% uh, for your preparation but if not if you are confused then you should always start your preparation along with your job and after a certain uh, period of time you can assess your performance your knowledge and as per that you can take a call that whether you need to continue with the job or not uh, right it should be an incremental one slowly uh, transition towards preparation and in Raising the intensity. Sure. Uh, thanks a lot, Arpit. Again, uh, very valuable pieces of information for future aspirants. Uh, thank you for taking out time for us. And again, congratulations on this wonderful success. I wish you all the best in your career with CPWD. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much, sir. KP classes dedicated to excellence.